Can psychedelics help with addiction? There's research recently backing that psychedelics can actually help with addiction when done therapeutically or in a mindful way. I personally know plenty of people who are recovered from addiction thanks to psychedelics. I have two friends that used to be a pack a day smokers uh, who had taken mushrooms and after taking mushrooms decided to quit uh, cigarettes cold turkey completely. And one of those friends had been smoking cigarettes daily, a pack a day, since 13 years old. And not only that too, but he was a pretty heavy drinker starting from a young age, I think around 13 as well. And through doing mushrooms a second time, he decided to stop drinking altogether as well and has not been drinking for the last few years and doesn't miss it at all. I have another friend who went into recovery for a heroin addiction and from popping pills. He got clean in recovery, but after getting out of recovery, he ended up getting back into pills. It is through doing iboga and other psychedelics, including mushrooms, ayahuasca, 5-MeO-DMT, that he no longer has an addiction to heroin. He no longer seeks out pills. Uh, in fact, through doing all of these psychedelics, it has reinforced within him this ability to not fill any void with substances. Instead, he has the tools necessary to help him to manage his coping mechanisms. In fact, he told me that when he was in the midst of his severe addiction to heroin and pills, that he would occasionally do mushrooms and he actually didn't like doing them because doing the mushrooms themselves made him reevaluate his life and helped him to understand that he didn't want to continue on with doing heroin and doing pills. The problem of it was, sure, he had that clear state of mind that wanted him to stop using, but he had a physical dependency. So he could try not using heroin or the pills all he wanted, but the physical dependency kept him going back to the heroin and the pills. And I know that a lot of people who are in recovery programs are afraid to do psychedelics because they're afraid that they will relapse on whatever it was that got them into being an AA in the first place. Uh, but it's been my experience talking with my friends uh, and, and listening to those on podcasts and everything who used to have addictions, who have done psychedelics, that psychedelics, in fact, don't really make you want to relapse. Uh, they make you want to stay more sober. So doing the psychedelics for them reinforces in them this desire to refrain from all of these things that were a detriment to their lives. And instead, they'd much rather do psychedelics in a mindful way to continue down a path of growth and understanding. If you are somebody who is dealing with addiction problems, I encourage you to watch my other video called Why Ayahuasca and Mushrooms Won't Save You because it is great to know that these things can help with addiction. Uh, but you also have to be ready for the change as well. So you may go on to do psychedelics, but you know, if you are a heroin addict or a pill addict, you have to understand that you are going to want to quit these things, but you might not have the whereabouts to because of your physical dependence. So you need to research ways in order to overcome that, you know, talking to a doctor to help you to taper off of pills or whatever it might be. Maybe um, learning about iboga and how that can help you if you have an opioid addiction so that you don't have to deal with the withdrawal and the negative side effects of coming off from these things. And not only that as well, but a big thing to recognize is that if you are addicted and you do something like mushrooms or ayahuasca or whatever it might be, you have to have some kind of plan in place for how you're going to integrate that experience into your life and help you to go on as a sober individual from whatever it was that you were addicted to. Because the thing is, is if your circle of friends were people who were all shooting up or people who are alcoholics and who only encourage that behavior. You could do all the mushrooms, all the ayahuasca you want, but if you were returning back to that circle of friends, 
it's probably not going to be long before you find yourself shooting up again or, you know, balls deep in a 12 pack. It is what it is. You just have to figure out how to manage, how to integrate that experience into your life and how to move on and grow from your circle or from the experiences that cause you to use these substances in a negative way. So if you found this video helpful, please go ahead and like it, subscribe to my channel. If you've come off from any kind of substance thanks to using psychedelics, please comment below. It can be so beneficial for those on the outside looking in to see other testimonies from other people who have had success through using psychedelics. And please, if you feel called to support my message, find me on Patreon. I can be found through my name, Kelly Hanner. And if you also want to look me up on Instagram, I'm at Kelly underscore Hanner. Thank you guys so much for watching. So much love to all of you out there who are dealing with addiction. I believe you can overcome it. Thank you so much for watching. Peace.